Hey guys, welcome back. So, the 37 again. We are going to put in, well, I'm going to put on modern shocks. I know your purist guys are really going to have some comments about it, and that's fine, but I made the decision after taking a long evaluation of the car months ago, I'm going to start doing more of a hot rod version of this car. So modern shocks in front because the guy I bought it from cut the coils and there's just no ride quality. If you bear with us, we have one of our GT40s in the background running. They're trying to get that out the door this weekend to send it home. But here we go, back to what we've done thus far. We have fabricated a set of mounts for the shocks. So this will actually weld onto the frame. Our shock will come down and I'm going to drill a hole, which you guys will see the installation videos, through the front of the I-beam. It has that hang off tab and already did our math on the length. So at right height, this should give us the 50-50 that we want for dampening. And again, just simple shocks, simple design, and it's just to give us back the ride quality. I don't plan on hacking into the frame. Um, I'm not happy about welding it, but where they go, you can't really run bolts through there. So we'll catch up after we get these ready and the car up in the air. Okay, so just to give you guys an idea what the final version of this will look like, and excuse the GT40, they ramped it up again. All right, our original ride height sitting down loaded is 26 inches from the ground to the top of the fender arc, or if you're a Packard person, the cracked fender. Um, but this is where we're going to drill through for our shock. And then we're going to tack weld to the frame here just for the mock-up. We have a rivet here. We had to open up a hole in the back of the plate so we can get flush onto the frame. If you guys notice why well, I said the front end had been lowered too far, we put a rubber one inch spacer in here to try to get some ride quality back and get it off the ground. It works, but it's not great. So give you an idea how this is. Once we're going to be installed, it should look something like that. There's no interference in the tire. As I did, said before I did my math, this is going to give me suspension articulation up and down, dampening on both ends. So I'm going to get into the installation a little bit. We'll shoot some of the installation, maybe a couple stills of other things along the way. And then we'll come back for the end product and see where our ride height is. So we got side one done. We're getting ready to do side two. Quick alteration to the bracket because we want to ride this high enough. This still hit the bottom of the loop, so we just blew that out. We have our holes drilled, so this sits in. It sits in the spot we want. And we're just going to run a couple tacks, a full weld here, a full weld here, and a full weld across the back. We checked out the other side, so when it's complete and done, the right height is maintained 26 inches. So let us finish up this, and we'll give you an overall shot once it's welded and then we'll drop it on the ground let everybody take a look okay guys i'm back from a test drive let me tell you it's like going from no suspension well it was like going from no suspension because there wasn't any to actually having suspension so let me tell you just the dampeners alone have greatly improved this this rides nicer than my friend's fully restored 37 with the actual working shocks. So I don't know what to say. It is a pretty fair gamble if you need to do something in the interim or if you want to go to something more updated if you're doing more of a hot rod kind of Packard. I make these brackets. If you guys need them, let me know. I can hook you up with a set. The shocks are just standard gas shocks, nothing fancy there. But the difference is night and day and most literally as soon as i get the conversion for the shocks for the back which will be a video coming up in the next month or so this is probably going to be the nicest riding car and that's including my new 300 chrysler so guys look me up thanks for tuning in and we will keep rolling down the road with the old 37 one thing at a time